Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Honest Movie Review here on the Andy Show TV YouTube channel. Uh, this week we've got a movie that is very exciting, uh, one that we just saw, we were given an advanced screener, and we want to talk to you about it. Joe, uh, what's the movie called? Boss Baby. Boss Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. mean, here's the thing about this movie. Yeah. It had literally everything. Yep. It had yeah. babies. It had bosses. It had suspenders. It had Alec Baldwin. It yeah. had just about everything you could ever want. And what I want to do right now is I want to give the viewers a succinct and honest review of, of this course. movie. So, Joe, yeah. what did you think of this movie? Well, I thought, you know, with all of the sort of 90s nostalgia that's happening right now and bringing yeah. back old movies and sure. the prequels and sequels, to do a sequel to Baby's Day Out yeah. was really interesting. Yeah. And to put it into the context that this movie happens literally five seconds after Baby's Day Out ended. Sure, yeah. And what I thought the weirdest thing was, but I really liked it, was that they set the whole thing in the like the headquarters of the Duck Commander from the, the gentlemen who were on Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Exactly. I thought it was really interesting that they said, okay, well, look, we're not going to include any of the members of the Duck Dynasty cast, right. but literally a little every, every prop that's used, yeah. every location that they're in is all exactly the yeah. Duck Dynasty headquarters in Louisiana. It was hard Louisiana. to see things at times because everything was camouflage. Which I mean, is why the, you couldn't capture the baby because yeah. he was in camo. Yeah, yeah. he was and in camo for the whole movie. Exactly. Uh, now, what I thought was interesting is that they advertised that Alec Baldwin did the voice. Right. But when it actually came down time for, to do the movie... Louis Anderson did all the voice work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I thought that that was a fantastic choice. Which, I mean, look, I get it, because maybe Alec Baldwin's a bigger name. Right. But Louis really killed it. I mean, yeah. in a way that that voice of his, we all know, is sultry. Oh, yes. Uh, it's something Smooth. That, it's something that you want to hear. Oh, yeah. You love to hear it. I would love to have him read me Dr. Seuss books as I go to bed. Sure. Everyone would love him to read anything to them. Yeah. Uh, but, Pat, look, I don't want to talk all over you. What was your favorite part of this movie? And that scene where they're in the fancy restaurant, and they're... They're looking at each other's business cards, and like one is like bone white, and one is like off white. Yeah. It was it was before the scene where he kills the girls in the apartment with the axe. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Saying I am the axeman. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, that was a cool crossover. Wasn't it was. It? Yeah. it was. Yeah. He gives that whole spiel about Huey Lewis and that that album Sports. This movie, I said it. I said it when I was in the theater. I turned to everyone in the theater. I stood up as I do. I yes, stood up. Did. I turned around. And I said, "What are you all fucking looking at?" Yep. And then after I said that, I, I sat back down and I said, this movie is, it first of all, is beautiful, mm -hmm. it's educational, mm -hmm. and it makes me feel, I don't know how to tell time, I don't know how to, I don't know how to eat anymore, like it, yeah. it took away my ability to do anything. And then, just when I was thinking that, mm -hmm. that moment happened. Oh yes. Joe Pesci. Yeah. Gets his ass stuck in the mud once again. Dude. And I thought, it is so Every good time. that we are in this year of Pesci. He found a mud puddle in the city, yeah. which was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like quicksand on, on 8th Avenue in Manhattan. Who'd have thought? So there wasn't a whole lot of bossing that happened. I think they were trying to be cool and use hip lingo. Boss yeah. baby. Oh, yeah. I was expecting that he would be yeah. a boss of something. B-A-W-S. Yeah. yeah. Two S's if yeah. you're fat. Boss yeah. baby. Yeah. 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 Having uh, the boss baby's nephew... Uh, be played by John Travolta was cool because then it brought in the look who's talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that was so brief. The, 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 I'm going to give it a 10 for having Louis Armstrong in it. I'm going to mm -hmm. give it a 10 for having Louis C.K. direct it. Yep. And I'm going to give it a 10 for allowing me to stand up in the theater and just curse out a whole bunch of people mm -hmm. and then sit back down. So for me, 10 out of 10. Great. Uh, I give it four diapers. All right. Yeah, I'm going to give it a nine because they included Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yep. Which was uh, one of my favorite Louis in the world. Yeah. And, uh, and then I'm going to add two points for the, uh, all, the, all the sneaker close-ups. A lot of Air okay. Jordans. And, yeah. and at one point he wears the little pump shoes with the pumps. Yeah, but tiny yep. ones. But it orders a pizza this time. Because it's his pie tops. Yeah. Yep. Well, pie ladies tops. and gentlemen, we saw this movie. We hope that you see it. Enjoy it, Joe. It's great. It is great. We'll see you next time on Honest Movie Review.